Hi, Katharina, how are you? I'm very fine, and you? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Um, I just wanted to ask you, first of all, um, we got a press release from the promoter yesterday in which you were quoted as saying you've identified weaknesses in the game of Terry Harper, your opponent. I just wanted to ask, how many of those weaknesses did you identify during her last fight against Natasha Jonas and what you made of that fight? Well, first of all, I uh, I would like to say that I, I really think it was a great fight, uh, fight for female boxing. Um, you know, I, I think they did both really great and, and that kind of fights are the kind of fights that makes uh, female boxing grow. So that's a really positive thing. And I mean, about her weaknesses, um, I think I, I always say this, we, we all have weaknesses, you know, and, and it's normal to to study your opponent. And and that's what I've been doing the, the late, uh, the last months. Um, so of course she as she as all of us has weaknesses. I I also have them. So I guess that she has also been studying me. You know. So <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. And also about a year and a half ago now, you fought Rachel Ball, who's also on yeah. the show on Saturday night. When you guys fought each other, you were already kind of on the pathway to a world title shot. And maybe her not so much. But now you're both challenging for your first world title on the same show. Did, did, yeah. you ever, did you see that potential in Rachel when you guys fought? Yeah, I think she has a huge physical potential. I mean, uh, she has um, a really long reach. Uh, she's really tall. I mean, she was quite a lot taller than me. And, and now that she has dropped like two weight divisions, I mean, she has a huge physical advantage uh, with her opponents. So that's a really good thing. And um and, you know, then, then she's been consistent and and uh, she's kept on training, which is something really good. Um, and, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's great to, to be on the, sh- on, the, on the same show as her. <laughs> and just one more before I let you go. I'm sure a lot of other people want to ask you some questions. Um, on paper, you won't know for sure until you get in the ring, but is Terry Harper the best you faced on paper so far? Well, I mean, it must it must be the most important fight that I've uh, gone, you know, for the uh, on, until this moment. That's no doubt about that. So yes, on paper, yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, and, and good luck on Saturday night. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Danny. Um, if we hand over to Daniel next. Uh, hey, Katharina, how are you doing today? Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Um, we've seen talks with women in sports, uh, especially in boxing, about uh, pay within the sport. Another key t- topic has been the two-minute rounds uh, within women's boxing. What are your thoughts on the rounds and if they, the requirement to change them down the line? It's actually one of the things that I've never, ever understood. I mean, uh, because I think all of all of us women train uh, three minutes uh, at the gym. So, you know, for me, it's really awkward that we have to fight only two minute rounds. And and it definitely changes our way of boxing, too, because um, in two minutes, it's it's difficult to. Um, to have, you know, the time that the males have to study your opponent, for instance. So, you know, uh, sometimes our fights are really, really active because we think that we only have two minutes to to do all our job. Um, so I really hope that we can get those three three minute rounds and I'm sure that we will get a higher KO r- rate as well, you know, in our fights. Uh, because I, I've felt that many, many times that I kind of almost have my opponent there and then the, the bell rings. So, uh, you know, we have a lot of time to recover because it's two minutes and then one minute rest, two minutes, one minute rest. So it's it's more difficult for us to um, to to win a knockout. <laughs> and hopefully uh, you, you were able to get what you desire. And just one more question for me, uh, women's boxing uh, and especially even during this pandemic, has seen a historic 2020 and in 2021 can even reach greater heights. How do you feel about leading the charge, especially on this great card this weekend with Katie Taylor and yourself and Terry Harper? Well, it's it's great. It's great to see how women's boxing is growing and, and you know, um, 
it's it's great to see and it's a big honor to be part of it absolutely thank you and good luck this weekend thank you <laughs> okay if we pass to george priestman next george did you want to jump in hi how are you very good and you <laughs> Yeah, good, thanks. Just uh, a couple of questions. Um, obviously, you fought, you fought three times in 2019, and obviously, we were very active. And this is your first fight in a year, which is obviously due to the pandemic. But will that have an effect? I don't think so, because I've been training, uh, you know, the whole time, and I didn't really have a rest from, from training. Um, and it was also, you know, a time where, where I got to, I, I had the chance to improve a lot of things, which is sometimes difficult when you're preparing for a specific fight. Um, so actually in that sense, I, I see, I see a positive thing about it. And, um, and, and since I've not been away from the gym, um, I don't think it's, it's a big problem that I didn't fight for a year. <laughs> Um, just one more question. Um, this is a, obviously a, a world title shot for you and you've earned your shot at the title um, winning your last fight, obviously. Um, so how much does this fight mean to you? It means a lot. I mean, it's it's the, the fight I've been dreaming for, um, you know, during many, many years, actually. So being here is, uh, is you know, it, it's an amazing feeling. <laughs> Thanks very much. Best of luck with the weekend. Thank you. <laughs> um, if you pass to Ames from Boxing News TV next. Ames here for Boxing News TV. Pleasure to meet you, Katharina. How are you? The same. I'm good. And you? <laughs> yeah, I'm not too bad. Um, so <laughs> could you tell me what your family and friends have said to you in the lead up to this fight? They all must be very excited for you. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're all very disappointed that, you know, they cannot be here. Um mm. But, you know, they, they all tell me that the, that even if they can't be in the audience, they will be watching the TV and, and like giving me all their support mm -hmm. from, from abroad. Um, but, you know, they, they all support me a lot. They tell me that I just have to do what I know to do best and, um, and enjoy, of course. You know, it's really important to, to enjoy and just keep the focus. And yeah. <laughs> Yeah, is, is there that bit of sadness there? Because this is obviously the biggest moment of your career to date, but your, your family and friends won't be ringside. Yeah, I mean, f for me, it's it's not that bad, you know, because when I go into the ring, I, I'm so concentrated and focused that I don't really think about the audience at all. But I think that for them, it's it's really sad, you know, especially for the people that that are close to me, like, you know, my, my closest family and friends, they, they would really would, you know they, they would have um loved to be there you know to to watch me especially people that have been following me during all my career and and i have you know people that has been traveling uh every time i've been fighting in in different countries so <laughs> so it's it's where that they can't you know um assist when i'm gonna box in in wembley arena which is a really emblematic place as well <laughs> so uh but you know it is what it is and we just have to see the positive sides of everything and um i, I think it could be a good thing for me this time that it's not with an audience <laughs> because i'm i'm the i'm the one you know boxing from from outside so <laughs> So, you know, has it been easy or hard to relax with this big moment coming up? Oh, I'm I'm very, very calm, actually. Uh, I'm not nervous at all. I feel really good. Um, so, you know, of course, uh, I guess I will have some nerves when I'm in the dressing room, maybe just about to go out to the ring. I think those kind of nerves are quite normal. But, but no, I'm very calm, I'm positive. I'm just chilling here in the bubble. I actually enjoy it a lot uh, because you, you can concentrate in a completely different way than when you're at home. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm feeling very good. I think I saw on an article on Seconds Out, you said that you saw weaknesses in Terry Harper. Could you elaborate on some of those weaknesses you've seen? No, I will keep those for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. No worries. Um, I just want to know, like, um, as well, like, we've had quite a few contentious decisions over here on these shores. Do you have any anxiety in terms of the scorecards? If you think you've won in your mind at the end of the final bell, but you don't get the result on the scorecard, do you have that anxiety at all? Um, well, I try not to focus on that. 
but of course, I, I really hope for a fair result. Um, I, I think it's a bad thing for boxing in general when, when <coughs> we see this kind of huge uh, robberies, you know, because we work a lot, we sacrifice a lot. So, you know, it, it's, I don't think it's a good thing for boxing uh, in general. So, so yeah, of course, that has um, been in my mind, but I, I try not to focus on it. Um, of course, I know that I will have to do um, a big job at, I don't have to only win the the, the fight against Harper, but I, I also have to convince, you know, the the English judges and <laughs> and you know, so um, I'm prepared for that. Yeah. <clears throat> and just my final question for you: um, right. you talked about it a little bit, but I just want you to elaborate on it a little bit more. What does it mean for you if you're victorious at the final bell and you're lifting those titles up in the air? I think words, uh, you know, can't really explain how, how big that is for me. But, you know, um, I'm so passionate about boxing and it's, yeah, basically my life and, and what I, what I you know, what I love the most of, of all the things that I do. So, so for me, you know, it's a, a huge dream that will come true. <laughs> all the best for the weekend. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> if you pass to Jonathan next. Mm. Hey, Katharina, Jonathan. Hey, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you doing? <laughs> Very good. Good. Um, Terry said that in her last fight, I don't know if you managed to watch her, but against Natasha Jonas, she got dragged into war and that she's hoping against you that that doesn't happen. But is that your intentions to drag Terry Harp into, into a war in this fight? You will see that on Saturday. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, just... In terms of being on a bill, a world title triple header that's headlined by Katie Taylor, um, I just wondered how much of Katie's career you've you've watched and what it means to be a part of a bill like this in the UK. Well, I mean, she she must be like the the the, the example <laughs> for all of us. I think you know, like I think we all admire her a lot. Um, so of course, it, it's a big honor to to share well to be on the same event that she is that's a really big thing yes of course um just lastly you mentioned about not having a crowd and that it might benefit you does it do you think it will play into your hands the fact that there is no loud uk crowd in attendance yeah absolutely i mean i think that it, it's quite normal we are all human and and you know, it's. I think it's normal that the judges can be influenced um, by by the crowd. You know, when they they shout um, and support their own boxer. You know, I, I think that's a quite normal thing. So, of course, taking away that, I I think um, they can most probably come to a more uh, neutral decision. You know, because I've seen. For instance, when Terry Harper fought Eva Wallström, the scorecards were <laughs> quite weird because <laughs> it was a quite close fight and the scorecards didn't really show that. So, uh, but of course, I think it was like 10,000 people, you know, shouting her name. <laughs> so that has a lot to do, I think. <laughs>